Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Build Battle Pro Mode again. And as I recently did a video on this, uh, but today we're actually going to be showing you guys how to use the Pro Tools on Build Battle Pro Mode. So the Pro Tools are basically a bit like World Edit, um, except they work in a slightly weird way. So we're going to hop into a round now um, and let's get going. So I'm going to be showing you how to use all the functions of the Pro Tools. So first we need to go and pick a theme. Graveyard monster. Monster? Okay. So to use the Pro Tools, the first thing you need to do is um okay, not be frozen. Okay, there we go. So uh, you want to go to the Nether Star and then you want to uh, right click and it should come up with this menu. Obviously if you changed your um your mouse keys around then obviously you'll have to do left click um, but from but it's default right click then click on the pro tools section and now you have all your pro tools so you for everything for every function of our pro tools you need the region selection tool and then well you can get which one so first thing we are going to be looking at is the fill tool so this is kind of the most common one the one that you probably use the most so we're going to grab our fill tool. Now, say, hey, I want to fill a big block of dirt. Well, fill a big block of anything. So you can use any block for this. It doesn't necessarily need to be the block that you're eventually going to use. And you want to place down blocks. So it kind of your two coordinates. So I'm going to do quite a big block. So then I'm going to go up a bit. So that's kind of what, what I'm going to be filling. Then you grab your region selection tool. And what you want to do is you want to walk up to the first coordinate and you basically want to try and break that block with it okay then you want to walk up to your second coordinate and basically try and place something off it but with your region selection tool and you should have it saying in chat position a set and then position b set then you need to just go outside of your fill uh, of your selected area then you basically go fill tool and say hey i want to fill this with oak logs okay now I, if I grab this and basically load up this fill menu by basically trying to place the bucket in air, I guess you could say. And then we can basically just get our item that we want, so I'm going to be doing uh, wood. And then we can basically just try and put it in one of these slots, and then there you go, it has filled it with wood. But say, hey, what I want to do is I want to fill it with air. Well, that's fine, you don't need to like, get an air block or anything. You just want to um, click on this thing here, fill with air. And then there we go, it's filled that same region again with air. But say, actually, didn't want to do that. There we go, we have it back now. So, that is the fill tool. Next tool we're going to be having a look at is the cut tool. Oh no, no. Okay, no, we, the next one we're going to be having a look at is the copy tool. Copy and paste. So, you guys probably know what copy copy and paste is by now. Uh, if you don't, then, I mean, what? <laughs> well, you, anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this region with air. And we are going to build a bit of a little structure. And we're literally just going to do this completely random. It's not supposed to look like anything. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to do a bit of a shape that couldn't be, like, filled or anything. So, look at this. That's, you know, there's no way you could, like, do that with a filter or anything. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to select our two corners again. So, we're going to do that one there. And then we are actually going to do that one there. Okay. Then again, you want to uh, b try and break the block with your region selection tool for the first one. And then basically try and place onto the dog. Um, with the, onto the dog? No, onto the block. Um, with... You set with your second coordinate. The reason I said dog was because I was just giving us a watchdog announcement. Okay, and then we, what we want to do is we want to go to our copy tool and we basically want to try and place it, but again, try and place it in air. And then there you go, it does say copy selected region to the clipboard. So now say, hey, I want another one of the things. You go over here and then use the paste tool. So it's, and then there you go, you have it. Now it is a bit confusing with where it would paste to, for example, I might go, oh yeah, the second coordinate is at the top, so that means I'll need to do it at the same level and then it'll go at the floor. No. 
the way it works is you would need to it pastes basically under at the level of your uh, of of your uh, lower coordinate but underneath your top coordinate so that's the way it like pastes and you do need to paste it off a block you can't just go paste actually you can okay i didn't know that but you can't but you can also paste it off a block so yeah and there you go now we, as you can see we have that so that's super useful if you're doing like a a castle or something i know i use uh, the copy and paste tool in a castle which is like turrets or something but it's generally just a super useful tool so we're actually gonna um the next tool we're gonna do is one that's pretty simple it's this one the undo tool now the most recent thing we did with the pro tool was summoning this thing in and as you can see when we try to use the undo tool it gets rid of it and then if we do it again well first you have to wait then if we do it again it's basically going to keep um undoing the last thing that we've done um so there we go we've just managed to undo them things that we pasted say hey i have pasted that in the wrong place i need it to be one block over do undo tool and it'll put your block back say hey i actually need it to be there then you can paste again perfect that's right now so the undo tool is super useful um for that kind of thing now the next tool we are going to do, be doing we're actually going to get rid of our copy and paste tool actually no we're going to keep the paste tool uh, the next so the next tool we have is the cut tool so there we go okay so let's see let's build another bit of a unique shape let's do that as our shape and then we're going to do the usual region selection tool to basically get this thing kind of in our um as our selected region remember break the first block kind of oh whoa whoa okay whoa that works and then basically click the second block which is we're going to do is that one then what we want to do is if we do cut so what we've done now is we've basically got rid of it but now what we can also do is say instead of using the undo tool say hey but i want to bring it back but i want to do it in a bit of a different place we'll pick the place that you want to do it actually I'm not going to do it like that we're going to go right the way over here then you can then use your paste tool and basically act just like as that cut tool was the copy tool but it also gets rid of it at the same time so if we do that there we go here was our little structure that we made so it basically gets rid of your selected area but also copies it so yeah that's super useful so there it was guys um all of our all of the tools so let's get that other one back let's get our copy tool so as you can see we have the undo tool which uh, undoes our undoes not undoes or does our last thing so as you can see that's done that if we do it again oh, if we just wait then do it again look it's brought that back and we could keep doing this until eventually we get back to our original actually no we, we you could basically just keep on un undoing that then we have the paste tool used to paste um objects so as you can see remember that last last we cut it we used cut tool to do that and then it also copies it so then we can paste it again then of course there is the copy tool works with the paste tool as well and then we have the region selection tool which is oh so important and then obviously there's the all important fill tool that that, that is that is so useful honestly um so as you can see the last things we had was that little module and i have used them coordinates to fill it with dirt but as you can see i can undo it so yeah those are the six pro tools things now guys there is loads of other things um that, that are just in the plot options these are in the normal one uh, the normal build battle as well as the pro build battle including npcs so say hey i want to spawn an npc of a chef it'll basically spawn it and it'll let me try that again don't know i think it's because i was in the air so if we do a soldier okay the npcs don't seem to be working in this round but i don't know why and then you can also do banner builder which is basically just like making your banner you can set the plot biome so that's really good for getting the right color of water you can set the plot floor so for example say i want the plot floor to be polished granite or granite 
uh, and then you can basically just drag it and you can basically put it where that um con terracotta or concrete and then it'll basically that's now the floor um we also have custom heads that you can do so if i just try and get a custom head there's loads of things like you can get foods for example i want uh i want a melon there we go we have the melon head and we can basically place these down but these are just plot options there's loads of different things you can change the plot le plot weather the plot time you can choose backdrops you don't actually have to spend um build back the coins though on the backdrops then you can also set music uh, music selector toggle music so like these uh, and you can as well buy more music with build back the coins and then there's also particles that you can do and then you can save basically your current hotbar so we finished that the theme was monster I feel like this looks um I never want to see that again I really never want to see that again <laughs> but okay I, was, I would say it's okay anyway um I feel like that's a bit like a gargoyle anyway um wow okay um this is good this oh i don't give legendary much but that is legendary oh wow hey guys we're just gonna do this voting and then that's the end of this video i just thought i'd do some voting because well we are actually in a build battle round at the minute um obviously that's why we have all the portals and someone voted for legendary that was me and probably other people Let me see the monster. I don't know if that might be the monster. Um, I would say the light. I don't really get where the monster is. Um, but it's good. Yeah. I don't know. Really. Um. It's Mike. Mike Wazowski. Okay, that, that's quite. That that's good. I might even go epic. No, it's not quite epic, it's just good. It is good. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If there's anything else that you um if there's anything else on Build Battle that you want to do a whole video, say you want to do a whole video on uh, making banners or something. So this is this is like a I think he thought that the theme was good graveyard because that was one of them possibly. And it's a good graveyard, yeah, so I'm gonna go good. Whoa. I'm on a really laggy computer. Hey, whoa, what kind of fly? That's quite good. I feel like they were trying to do something big, but then um they ran out of time, so shut I, 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 I did die. I, I will. Um, but um, I'm guessing they just ran out of time because that, you know, you can see their like, legs uh, into something big, but they just ran out of time. Hmm. That's quite good, actually. I quite like that. Yeah, good. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave the video here. You probably just don't want to see me just go through uh, builds. But yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed, um, so yeah, uh, bye, also be, sh be sure to leave a like and subscribe, bye.